Booming development in western Travis County isn't mixing well with Mother Nature. The last storm stirred up unexpected trouble at the Sweetwater development, a planned community of 1,500 houses in Bee Cave. More heavy rain today has residents watching for runoff. KXAN's Katie Rodriguez spent the day in Bee Cave to show us the problem. This is paradise for retired soil engineer Dr. Mark Belouz. He's enjoyed Bee Creek flowing through his backyard since he moved here 10 years ago. But recently he says it looks different. Kayaking in uh, murky, muddy water is not fun. He and other neighbors worry about runoff from the ongoing Sweetwater development on Highway 71. It's an indication of somebody doing excavation work. The white color is an indication of somebody scraping the caliche and the limestone, leaving the silt uh, particle. There are silt fences meant to filter the runoff, but neighbors point to evidence they may not be properly maintained. Developer Reiner Ficken says they go above and beyond what's required for environmental protection, like mandatory inspections after storms. But our crews are out there uh, again because of uh, understanding the sensitivity, but uh, the amount of work that we have ongoing out there, they are out there in the community uh, a minimum of three days, typically a little bit more every single week. And he too is a Bee Cave resident. That is one of the biggest assets uh, to our community, in particular Sweetwater. Uh, it only makes sense to protect it as best we can. Neighbors agree, and Belus is even volunteering his expertise to test the soil. And I'm ready to help with my profession protect nature for free. The Lower Colorado River Authority says after last week's storm, they sent runoff samples to its lab and should have results back later this week. In Bee Cave, Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News. The LCRA did grant several permits for the Sweetwater development under their Highland Lakes Watershed Ordinance. One of the conditions requires erosion and sediment control throughout the project. They say last week's three-inch rainfall damaged some of those control measures. The developer has until next Monday to fix them. And we also checked with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. They approved a dozen active permits for this project and haven't received any complaints about it.